Okay, the next thing we need to do is calibrate the RAM, which the information is located right here. Just hit depth, bend, zero, negative, manual. Now you don't touch anything else until you actually come down and make contact with your materials. So now you come over to your tooling, start your brake. Just gonna pinch it like that. It's not bending it, it's just touching it. That becomes zero, but you can see that the control doesn't think that. So when you hit advance, it zeroes it out. Now, when the ram comes up, this number becomes negative, more negative, and then it'll count backwards down to zero, and then when it hits the material, it will become positive. So we have a job in here, bend one, job one, bend one, and then I just go auto advance. Always, always, always run your machine without material to make sure you don't crash. Okay, you see how it didn't hit? I probably won't get a 90, but... Okay, so that is how you program the machine, and it goes between bend 1 and bend 2 in this case. There's one more thing that you need to understand about this gauge, and this is the thing that throws and uh, causes the most trouble for operators who aren't aware of it. Under bend under job one, in fact, underneath all these jobs, you can enter into something called bend zero. Now, bend zero is tricky because whatever you programmed into the job, job one, can be impacted. Every single bend in job one can be impacted by jobs by this bend zero. So if I put something in flange, like 60 thousandths, and... I come back to bend one and make it go there. It added 60 thousands to it and you're going crazy because no, I wanted one and three quarter. However, when I actually bend, it's 60 thousands off and it will do that on bend two too. Again, I only wanted 15, but because I have 60 thousandths in there, it's there. Now it can also, bend zero, can also impact your depth. So you could, all your, all your bends will go deeper than you want or not as deep. So you want to make sure you change, watch that. Now height is very important. You, you may not use those other two things, but you will want to use this. This controls where the speed of the ram changes. So you come down fast, and before it touches the metal, you want the ram speed to shift into slow or pressing. So you have to go into this height here. In this case, 300 thousandths is where I have it set. I can hit clear and make it 200 thousandths. Um, if you go like this, I mean, there, it doesn't even allow you to go like one inch maybe. Yeah, it lets you be one inch above the material, but that's like painful because you're you're holding your part and it's continuing to move slowly for one whole inch before it even touches the material. Height, 200 thousandths, bend one, auto advance. I meant to take that out of here. The flange, let's get that 60 thousandths out of there. Bend one, manual advance. Now it's back to the 750. That should get you a long ways on your path. If you have one of these things and it's lost its mind, I also know how to fix that. You may want to call me to do that one, though. My number, 320-333-6084, Kurt, Metal Fab Machinery.